Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. So last week I put out a video going over 10 turn-based monster taming games that were either already out or were coming shortly this year. The video was initially put together for newcomers to the genre or this channel since we seem to have been getting some pretty substantial growth this year. Anyways, all of that being said, the reception was really good. So I figured why not put together another list of 10 more turn-based monster taming games, but this time instead of just going over games that are already out, we're also going to be talking about games that are coming in the future, whether it be soon or more distant. So in other words, this will be a mix of upcoming games and already established ones, which I think will be both something that newcomers and people that have been keeping up with the genre can both enjoy. Anyways, all of that being said, if you are a fan of monster taming games, definitely subscribe to my channel because I put out new monster taming videos every single day. And without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so kicking things off with a title that I think can act as a really good segue into monster taming RPGs outside of Pokemon-like titles is Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin, a spin-off of the Monster Hunter franchise that has you taming, riding, and battling alongside the iconic monsters from the series in a rock, paper, scissors-esque turn-based combat system. The mechanics are by no means overcomplicated. You basically have three ways you can attack, each of which is advantageous to the next, and then you have monsters that have specific styles that lean towards one of these three. Then you have some attacks with secondary effects, but it's not like Shin Megami Tensei or Cyrilum by any means. The game itself features a semi-open world to explore with different fragments of it opening up as you progress the story, kind of like Pokemon Legends, but obviously it came out first. Each monster has its own unique abilities and combat style and different mechanics in the overworld as well. You can then find monster dens randomly generated throughout the world and obtain eggs from them in order to increase the size of your team. The game also features a fusion-esque mechanic called the Rite of Channeling, which allows you to have certain monsters inherent moves from others so while the effects aren't cosmetic you are having that sort of inheritance that comes with games that do have fusion it's a lot more clear-cut than I'm making it sound in this description but yeah beautiful monster taming title that I do recommend giving a go okay next we're gonna talk about a game that is in early development with no foreseeable launch date and will sort of be staggering this video with games that are out versus those that are up and coming but if you're a fan of Pokemon and have been following the Johto redrawn project then this might be something that you want to look into Tamamon is essentially a Pokemon like monster taming game that takes heavy inspiration from this art style. Again, it's too early to get into the nitty gritty of how the game will differ itself from the Pokemon formula, but this is a pretty unknown title since it's very early in its life, so I thought I'd give it a bit of a boost here. You can check out their Twitter page linked below should you want to follow development. One of the suggestions you guys gave in the comment section was Serlum Ultimate, a turn-based dungeon crawling RPG where you must travel to dozens of realms in order to vanquish those who will bring impending doom. Serlum Ultimate features a ton of complexity in its battle system in that all battles take place in a six-on-six -six format with all monsters being on the field at once. Furthermore, there are over a thousand monsters in the game, all of which can be fused together to create hybrids that host multiple traits. You can then choose from one of two dozen specializations that will add various perks like boosting certain stats or inflicting debuffs or whatever. And you can top that all off with the fact that the game's got side quests, achievements, tons of loot to collect, and even the ability to customize your hub world. There's far more to the battle system that I mentioned here, but if I were to go into all of the intricacies, we'd literally be here all day. Also, if you didn't already know, I will be leaving all relevant social media slash Steam pages slash whatever I think you guys need to check out these games linked below. Biomancer is another early development title that I think Monster Rancher fans are going to want to pay attention to. Essentially, this is a sci-fi monster raising title where you can train up your monsters and then compete in various tournaments, much like you would in something like Monster Rancher, but instead of the real-time combat that you see in those games, this has a turn-based battle format. The game definitely has some pretty cool visuals, and while there is no release date just yet and not a whole lot of information, I do think it'll be something that monster raising fans will want to keep a close eye on. If you're a fan of something with a darker tone and a focus on customization, then Monster Crown might be something of interest to you. This monster taming RPG features a fully fleshed out crossbreeding mechanic that allows you to take any two monsters and combine their various attributes for limitless combinations. You can further customize this by utilizing custom chromosomes too. The turn-based combat present in this game is relatively simplistic, but it does have its own caveats that make it unique from something like Pokemon. The game has a synergy system, which can be utilized to execute multi-type attacks or to temporarily transform into a crown form. It also features a mechanic similar
similar to Mega Evolution, allowing for certain species to evolve in battle based on different items given. And overall, it's a pretty cool title. Cassette Beast is another upcoming monster taming game that I'm personally really looking forward to. Well, at a first glance, one might assume it's Pokemon-like in nature, that actually couldn't be further from the truth. The game has its own unique type chart, and the type interactions are based off of buffs, debuffs, and transmutations, rather than simple weaknesses and resistances. Monsters can fuse during battle in order to power up, and the game takes place in a 2.5D open world environment with even some platforming mechanics. The game also features ways to customize your monsters instead of the archaic IV and EV system, and even has bonding mechanics between the player and various recruitable NPCs. Couple all of that with some of the best pixel art in the genre, and honestly, you have a really cool title that, in terms of upcoming games, is probably the top of my list. Next up, we have Necromancer's Gift, a monster taming roguelike inspired by Slay the Spire. In this game, you find yourself in the Necromancer's lair and must travel down into its depths to get to the end. In doing such, there will be branching paths with various encounters, many of which will involve you battling with your monster team in turn-based combat. The game features dual held items which can sort of stack on each other for interesting effects. For example, there's an item that's a slice of pizza and you can put some secondary items that act as topping to alter its effects, but I will say that things have been really quiet regarding development as of late, and we do have a playable build, but it's only private access that is tied to NDA, so I can't really show any of that on screen. Either way, it does have some really cool, eerie pixels art, so if it's something that interests you, I'll leave the Twitter page linked below. Last week, we touched on Lumion Legacy, a former Pokemon fan game on Roblox, which turned into its very own IP, and a very similar case exists with Doodle World, a Pokemon-like monster taming RPG that also exists on the Roblox engine for free. The game is currently in its early access state, with it having two of the game's 10 keys available, which sort of act like gym badges in a sense. The developers have been really active, adding a ton of updates to the game, with the most recent one being a social park area where you can trade and battle with other players. I've been playing it myself and so far it's a lot of fun. Nothing super fancy with the visuals, but the doodle aesthetic actually grew on me. The game also features various skins that you can equip to your doodles for some visual customization too, which is quite nice. If you're looking for something to get into that's a little more relaxing, Monster Harvest is a monster taming and farming title inspired by Stardew Valley. While the primary focus of this game revolves around its farming activities, it does feature very simplistic turn-based monster battles via its dungeon crawling system where you can explore randomly generated areas in order to find items for farming purposes. This game isn't really for hardcore turn-based enthusiasts, but more for people who want to relax, grow some crops, which they can then mutate into monsters, and then do a little bit of turn-based combat on the side. The game did have a bit of a rocky launch, but from what I've heard, a lot of the issues have been fixed, but if you've played the game recently, definitely let me know what your take is on it right now. Okay, so this last game, many would consider kind of weird and gimmicky, but I consider it to be fascinating, whilst also admittedly a meme type of game. That being Drugimon, a monster taming RPG stylized like a Game Boy Color game where you fight and tame drug monsters in attempts to become the best user. I kid you not. The game contains a lot of Easter eggs and parody characters too from various media sources. I mean, I'm even in the game, which is quite hilarious. The battle system is very reminiscent of Pokemon with its own unique set of types and moves, and they now have an alpha that's currently live for you to try for free. It honestly sounds really funny and silly, but mechanically, the game actually feels really good. And there you go, guys. Those were another 10 monster taming games with turn-based combat that you can either check out right now or go check out and follow along as they develop. Again, just like I said in the last video, let me know if this is something you guys are enjoying, and I might just be able to squeeze out a third part for this, depending on what I find. Furthermore, I do have plans to put together the same type of video for tactical RPGs. Uh, I have another mobile games video planned, which I have done two of them, by the way, if you're interested, linked below. But either way, if you're a fan of any of these monster taming games or just the genre in general, definitely subscribe to my channel because like, I said earlier, I put out new monster taming content every single day. You can check out my Twitter, my Discord, my Patreon, all links below, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.